and uh, we're gonna try it out. Oh, you are. <laughs> I'm the only one that's gonna eat. He won't eat here. So stay tuned. Like they used to say in the old days. Hey YouTube, it's me. Um, tonight I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner, and I'm gonna let you come along and see what I create. Yikes. Can you see in there? Hopefully not, because it's a disaster area. Oh, let me see. Hang on, this is gonna take a while. So, I am notorious for waiting until the last minute to make dinner. I don't like to... I just like to figure out what I'm gonna make at the last minute whatever inspires me or whatever I have stuff to make so right now I'm gonna make chili verde my recipe so you can see but I'm having problems because of the meat is frozen I'm putting in there four fresh chilies they're serrano chilies and big handful of cilantro and some tomatillo of course you know you have to take off the papery skin tomatillos are funny I think they remind me of little lanterns and tomatillos are not green tomatoes Even though they look like green tomatoes, they are not. A spoonful of garlic. Oops, sorry. Bottle of water. I just got on my phone. Salt. Pepper. They like it peppery. And cumin.
taking this off. So I had to let the steam out. Let's make sure you do that before you open the lid. And um, I think the next time I do it this way, I'm going to add the flour and the water after because no that's who candy candy oh you guys call him candy oh and you guys call him candy Yes. <laughs> That's on my video. <laughs> You're recording? Yeah. Chindy did not What's hear that. that. Right here. Oh, son! Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> well, I, I would rather be called candy than candy that other thing. What time are you coming back? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll just leave stuff like in this container or something. Yeah. Yeah, cause it, the, cause I put the flour in, and so now it, it keeps burning. It got too thick. But I am fixing it. So here's my beans, and one of my things I like to do, or one of my tricks. I sometimes use milk, right now I'm using half and half. You just put a little bit in and it makes them super creamy and uh, bacon makes it taste like you use lard. It kind of did, but not as bad. And just make sure all your beans are kind of smashed. You don't have to totally smash them. And then you just let them simmer and they're going to thicken up. Sometimes you can add salt and pepper, but there's really so much salt in the canned beans that you don't really need to. And now I'm gonna make some rice. So my pan is like really hot. Really hot. I put some oil in. some onion powder. You could cut up onion too and put it in there. Again, the cheese is so fast, you don't want this to burn. And the uh, bouillon has a lot of salt in it, so do not add extra salt. I have found that to be true. Come on, Pepper. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast here because I don't want to. I don't want to That's kind of a lot of pepper. My um, family like pepper, so. Yours might not like that much. One, two, three. 
I don't measure, but um, I just use enough water to cover the rice. And I let it, I let it come to a boil, not to a boil, but I let it cook a little bit. And I know I have lids somewhere, but I just pick up. Plate on top, turn it down to about right there, and just let it do its thing. Looks like it's working. So far, it has it said burn again. Yes, it's working. And always make sure that your dial is turned that way and not this way because that's the way you turn it when you let the steam out so we just had to wait okay, the rice is cooking the beans are done just got to heat up the tortillas Leave the bacon in there and squish it around. You don't want to have it cook too hot because you don't want to burn beans. So I just have it at that temperature. Mm, really good. I'm just on my phone. Anyway, really good.